If you have tried every diet, every exercise plan, every supplement to shrink your belly, but the weight around your middle just won't respond, you have to listen to this episode. Visceral fat after 60 does not appear suddenly. It develops as the body's control over blood sugar, hormones, and inflammation gradually weakens, even when you believe you're doing everything right. And this is not a small concern. Large population studies reported in the Journal of the American Medical Association show that high visceral fat is associated with up to a 90% increase in cardiovascular risk in older adults, even among those with a normal body weight. So in today's episode of the Senior Health Podcast, Japan's oldest doctor will explain exactly what visceral fat is, why it behaves differently after 60, and how you can lose it in just 30 days using a specific Japanese method. Doctor, are you ready for this episode? Yes, John. Visceral fat is a signal. It reflects how the body is dealing with stress, eating and recovery. When balance is lost, this fat often appears first. Right. And this changes how we think about belly fat, because most seniors are taught to see it as a cosmetic issue or an inevitable part of aging, when it is often a meaningful message from the body asking for support. That's so true. After 60, visceral fat does not simply appear by accident. The body's sensitivity to insulin, inflammation and movement changes, and fat is more likely to settle deep around the organs. But this is not the end of the story. With the right signals, that process can often be slowed, redirected, and in many cases improved. I cannot wait to hear what signals you will focus on today, doctor. And for those listening who are concerned about visceral fat, please type a one in the comments so we know this topic truly matters to you. All right, let us begin. I will share three key methods rooted in Japanese longevity wisdom practiced for over 300 years that reduce visceral fat, protect the organs and restore metabolic balance. And it is important to stay with us till the end if you really want to see results. I keep thinking about how many seniors come to me confused, doing all the right things, yet something deep inside still feels misaligned. So what are the Japanese key methods you start with, doctor? We will get there in a moment. But first, seniors need to understand what they are dealing with. Right. Everyone stay with us. This is important. John. Visceral fat hides where the eye cannot see. So seniors judge progress by mirrors and scales that never tell the full story. This fat lives close to the liver, the pancreas and the intestines, quietly shaping how the body manages energy each day. Because it works in silence, it often escapes attention for years. That explains why reassurance can feel false when lab numbers start drifting. It also explains why so many seniors feel blamed for something they cannot see or feel directly. Yes, and that is an important emotional weight. Visceral fat is metabolically active, meaning it releases signals that influence inflammation and insulin sensitivity. Seniors are often told they are simply aging, when in truth their metabolism is responding to deeper signals. When those signals are misunderstood, frustration grows. So the body is not failing. It is responding in a way we have not been taught to interpret. Exactly. Seniors are often encouraged to chase weight loss instead of metabolic balance. Visceral fat responds less to force and more to guidance. Once that distinction is understood, the conversation shifts from blame to partnership with the body. That idea alone feels relieving for many seniors listening tonight. And relief matters. When the nervous system feels threatened, the body tightens its grip on stored energy. Calm understanding creates space for the change. But only if we stop using strategies that quietly raise stress hormones. You say using strategies that quietly raise stress hormones. That last part really lands. What do you mean by that? Well... This is where we need to pause carefully. Many approaches seniors rely on to lose belly fat actually send the body into defense mode. 
So before we introduce the Japanese method of today's episode to help the body release fat, we must first understand why traditional dieting sends the wrong internal messages. That feels like the question we need to sit with next. What is it about common dieting approaches that makes the body resist instead of respond? Well, this is where many seniors feel betrayed by their own efforts. Traditional dieting often asks the body to do more with less, and after 60 the body interprets that as a threat. Hormones that once responded quickly now move more cautiously, and the metabolism shifts into protection rather than release. Instead of burning visceral fat, the body learns to guard it. That lands deeply, because so many seniors are praised for discipline while feeling worse inside. I hear frustration when they say they are eating less, yet their energy and progress stall. Yes, and there's a biological reason progress stalls. A 2022 study of over 600 seniors found that low-calorie diets raised cortisol, increased muscle loss, and made visceral fat harder to lose. After 60, the body prioritizes safety over speed and responds best to steady nourishment, not stress. So the real shift isn't just about eating differently, it's about changing the internal messages the body receives. Yes, and one of the most important signals after 60 is oxidative stress. Okay, let's break that down real quickly and then dive into the first key method. What role does oxidative stress play in all this? And how can seniors lower it rather than add to it? Oxidative stress is the silent pressure that builds when the body is both overworked and undernourished. After 60, it rises faster, especially during restrictive diets. And visceral fat doesn't ignore it. In fact, it reacts by becoming more protective, more inflamed, and harder to lose. That makes a lot of sense. We hear eating less, trying harder, but at the same time feel more tired, more tense, and somehow heavier inside. Exactly. That tension is the signal. When meals lack calming, protective nutrients, and stress stays high, the body produces more free radicals than it can clear. Visceral fat thrives in that environment because it feeds on instability. So the real solution isn't just less food, it's food that quiets the system? Yes, food that speaks safety, not scarcity. Once the body senses stability again, visceral fat has less reason to stay. It shifts from defense into release. And that's where the first method from Japan comes in. That feels both hopeful and practical. So how exactly does this method work when you focus on helping seniors address visceral fat? Let me begin simply. In Japan, we start with color-rich foods because they signal safety to the body, especially after 60. Color has long guided Japanese meals as a sign of nourishment, not decoration. Leafy greens like komatsuna and spinach, orange foods like kabocha, squash and carrots, and red foods such as tomatoes and red bell peppers appear daily in small, balanced portions. These pigments calm oxidative stress and tell visceral fat the body is stable. That feels refreshingly different from restriction. Yes, and this is why it works. These foods reduce inflammation and support cellular repair. A large Japanese study from the National Center for Global Health and Medicine found lower visceral fat in seniors who regularly ate carotenoid-rich vegetables such as leafy greens, squash and carrots. That explains why seniors often feel better before the scale changes. Exactly. In Japan, meals are meant to reassure the body. When meals nourish instead of punish, metabolism follows. But that's not it. Some of the strongest calming signals come not from what seniors chew, but from what they sip each day. That really sparks my curiosity. Once the food signals are in place, drink comes next. So tell me, what is the next Japanese method you introduce? Well, the next step is something very simple, and that is drinking green tea. 
but not as a trend or a quick fix. When prepared plainly, its natural compounds help the body use fat for energy more efficiently and reduce the low-grade inflammation that keeps visceral fat active. For seniors, it works quietly by restoring balance rather than forcing change. That feels important to say out loud. Seniors are often wary of anything that sounds like a shortcut, especially when it comes to metabolism. Yes, and that caution is healthy. Green tea contains catechins that gently support insulin sensitivity and fat oxidation, while its modest caffeine can improve circulation without overstimulating the nervous system. In fact, a Japanese clinical study published by University of Shizuoka found that seniors who consumed catechin-rich green tea daily showed significant reductions in visceral fat over time. The key here is moderation and timing, not volume. One or two cups earlier in the day is enough for most seniors. That framing makes it feel accessible rather than intimidating. And accessibility matters. You should avoid sweetened bottled versions and pay attention to how their body responds, especially if they are sensitive to caffeine or managing blood pressure. When used thoughtfully, this drink becomes a quiet daily signal of support rather than a stress sore. That kind of nuance builds trust, especially for listeners who have been burned before. And here is the gentle turn. While what we eat and drink sets the foundation, visceral fat responds even more strongly to how the body moves. Movement speaks to this fat in a language food alone cannot. That makes sense. So everybody stay with me for just a little bit longer, because I think you are now going to introduce the last method. Right, doctor, the word is yours. Yes, the last method is all about movement. The kind of movement that speaks to visceral fat is not punishing or extreme, especially for seniors. This fat responds best to steady, rhythmic motion that gently raises the heart rate without triggering alarm in the nervous system. When movement feels sustainable, the body interprets it as safety rather than stress. That's comforting to hear. I often hear about seniors in Japan moving throughout the day without ever calling it exercise, and many here worry that if they cannot push hard, they are somehow failing their bodies. Yes, and that fear keeps many seniors frozen. In Japanese daily life, walking to local shops, cycling short distances, tending gardens or doing mindful housework are all seen as meaningful movement, not something separate from living. When these motions are done with intention, they send the right signal without exhaustion. When the body feels capable instead of threatened, visceral fat begins to soften its grip. That idea alone could remove so much pressure for seniors who have been told to go harder or quit. Exactly. Seniors do not need to drain themselves to create change. They need movement that feels like it could be repeated tomorrow and the day after that. This kind of motion improves insulin sensitivity and circulation, which visceral fat is very sensitive to. That framing makes movement feel like cooperation rather than discipline. Would you be willing to share an example? Something specific seniors can try, especially those who feel stiff or unsure where to begin. Absolutely. One of the simplest and most powerful is the Japanese heel walk, a slow, steady motion where you lift your toes and walk on your heels for 10 to 20 steps. It gently activates circulation in the lower legs, improves balance and tells the nervous system the body is safe to move. We often pair it with breath. Inhale for two steps, exhale for two, to keep the rhythm calm and consistent. That's brilliant. It's structured but not intimidating, something you could even do in your kitchen. Exactly. It is that simple. But let me be clear. In Japan, we pay close attention to effort because there is a specific level where the body responds best, and it is not as high as many assume. 
understanding that balance is what allows movement to heal rather than exhaust. That makes me lean in. How can seniors recognize that level of effort in their own bodies without gadgets or fear of overdoing it? You should start by, be, by uh, listening to the body instead of measuring it. 75% effort feels like moving with purpose while still having a little breath left. Seniors should notice a steady heartbeat, warmer muscles, and the ability to speak in short sentences without gasping. That description feels reassuring and concrete, not technical or intimidating. Yes, and that simplicity is intentional. In Japan, we have long trusted internal cues over devices, especially as the body ages. This level of effort gently challenges the heart and muscles without flooding the system with stress hormones, which is why it has been used quietly in daily life rather than formal exercise. Visceral fat responds to this because it signals strength without danger. That reminds me of seniors who say they feel accomplished but not depleted after a walk like that. They describe feeling clear-headed instead of wiped out. In Japan, many seniors walk to the market, garden or cycle short distances and finish feeling more energized than tired. When movement ends with clarity instead of fatigue, the body treats it as a positive signal and becomes more willing to release stored energy. Unlike dieting, this kind of movement does not hit a hard ceiling. The acted up more consistently seniors move this way, the more the body continues to respond. That's fascinating. Why does exercise keep working where diet seems to stall? And what is happening inside the body that makes movement such a powerful signal after 60? Diet works by subtraction, and after 60, the body becomes cautious when something is taken away. Exercise, by contrast, works through communication. Each movement tells the liver, pancreas, and brain that energy is needed and safe to release. That really reframes it. It's not about forcing loss, but restoring internal dialogue. Exactly. Dieting triggers slowdown, but movement prompts real-time responses. Improving insulin sensitivity, circulation, and mitochondrial function with every session. I've heard seniors say they feel stronger before their waistline changes, like something shifts inside first. Yes, because exercise creates demand, not deprivation. Visceral fat exists to support movement, and once activity becomes regular, the body stops hoarding and starts sharing energy again. Food, drink, and movement are all signals. And when they align, change becomes steady and sustainable. That sounds more like an invitation than a rule book. So how can seniors begin to combine those signals in a way that's gentle and realistic? Well, you begin by choosing rhythm over rules and signals over sacrifice. When food, drink and movement align gently, the body feels safe enough to change, without force. That framing feels kind and realistic. It meets seniors where they are. Yes, and that kindness is powerful. Over 30 days, consistent signals help the body trust again. Many notice better sleep, steadier energy, and a calmer appetite before any visible change. I've heard patients say they just feel more settled, like their body is recalibrating. Exactly. Early signs often appear quietly. Steadier mornings, more lasting energy, less tension around meals and movement. That's the body saying, I'm supported. That's a deeply reassuring reminder. Progress is often felt before it's seen. If this spoke to you, share it with someone you care about and give your body the chance to respond with patience and trust. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and watch this next video right now. Yes, please. We've picked this one especially for you.